and encouragement, and above all, your prayers to make this marriage successful for the glory of our God. Amen. You will be seated. Thank you. So, you will be seated as well. In the end, going on. So, at this very moment, allow me to share with you with the Word of God before we proceed the meeting, right? Now, uh, because the Word of God is the most vital and important for us to learn and to understand the perfect will of God about Mary's life. I'd like to share with you the three important factors how Mary's life remains strong, healthy, and blessed. Of course, I'm not magtiayon na nandoy din na ang ilang kami niyo ang blessed. Ang iba, pataas pa mga niyo yung kanandoy. Naganda. Praise the Lord. So allow me to share with you and I'd like to read a certain verses on the book of Ephesians, uh, chapter 5, beginning in verse 21 to verse 25. Submitting yourself one to another in the fear of God, wives, submit yourself unto your own husband as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husband in everything. Husband, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. The marriage of a husband and wife is a covenant relationship. Once you choose to marry, it's no longer up for debate as to whether your spouse is the right one. Marriage makes them the right one. For it's a commitment before God. It's never to be based on shifting feelings, but a choice every day to love the spouse you've chosen. So, we all know that there is no perfect if we talk about couple or uh, marriage life. But we can guarantee if that certain marriage life of that couple living in the will of God, living in the power of God, there is God can help us. Amen. There is God that can sustain us, that can give us wisdom and understanding. It is a commitment. Take note na ang kaminyon, you are not just making a promise to your partner, but you are making a promise towards God. Amen? It is a God's covenant. Ang pag-isaan natin sa bana o kasawa, isaan din na sa ginoon. In this particular verse, as we read in verse 51, submitting yourself to one another in the fear of the Lord. Diha sa kahalok sa gino, ang atong pagsabitan sa atong matang usa. I like to share these three important factors. The first one, the husband and wife should have a strong desire to obtain God's wisdom in their daily life relationship. Now, alam sa mga ninyo, to all the, the couple here, I'd like to encourage you that you, you need more of God, you need, we need the wisdom of God for us to be able to sustain and to endure no matter what along the way, the challenges that we been through or what we, challenges that we go through in our marriage life. God's wisdom, as the Bible said in the Proverbs 4 verse 7, wisdom is supreme. Therefore, give wisdom. It, it is not just a feelings, but we need God's wisdom. Do I counsel in my table? Ingon ang babae. Pastor, I still love him, but I 
don't want to leave him anymore. And the same as the husband said, I love her, but I don't want to leave her anymore. Ito problema. Ngayon po mga problemi na dinahan makikuga. Why? Because they don't know the principle of God about how to live together with God's blessings, with God's wisdom, with God's ability, with God's love. It is not just our own feeling, but should be the feelings which is empowered by the Spirit of God for us to understand together, to live not in our own will, but the will of God. And have good success in your design. Amen. It is by this wisdom. The second one is the husband. Love your wife. So love your wife. Even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Okay, we go with the one. The true love is like the picture of Christ. What Jesus did, he gave his own life. You know what? Jesus is the perfect demonstration of love of the Father. For God so loved the world, and he gave his own day. He died son. Now whosoever believed in him will not pass the power of everlasting life. So the husband should love your wife as Christ gave himself. So the perfect pattern of loving our family, loving our wife, is the pattern of Christ, the love of God. And that is the perfect demonstration of love. You have to give your life meaning, you are willing to sacrifice for the sake of your wife. So you are willing, no matter what, no matter what situation looks like, but because you are already committed, you already made a promise and a covenant, not only to her, but to make a covenant in the eyes of God. In other words, you have an accountability of what you have promised towards God as well as to your wife. Amen? So we need the wisdom. So these are the two principles principles of the marriage life. It's other. Because prayer is our uh, our connection towards God. Because there is power in prayer. Because by prayer we can obtain wisdom. By prayer we can obtain the power, protection, favor. Amen. Because prayer it seems a, a relationship towards God that is your conversation towards God. You need to pray. The partner should learn how to pray. Recognizing God's ownership by means of prayer, you acknowledge God that He is the, the source. He is the life. He is our Abba. Abba means source and sustainer. We acknowledge God as our Father. So you need to pray. I pray to be together. Why? Because we acknowledge God that He is our source. You know what? Prayer, it seems like breaking. What would happen if, if, if we stop breaking? You will die. If you stop breaking, you will die. So, God centered relationship first is pray. For each other. You need to pray. Wherever you go, you have to start to pray. Whatever the transaction, whatever the words of your hands, you need to dedicate it by prayers, acknowledging God's blessings. And then edify each other through God's word. Edify the palikunai. In the word of God, there's a lot of promises. Because the word itself is God, the Bible says in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So if you have the word, it means you have God. And that is the perfect indicator that you have God, you have a connector with God, because you have his word. The word is the source of your strength. The word is the creator. 
in the source, the sovereign God, the Almighty Father. The fourth one, reflect God's character to one another. So, kamu magkiayin na, wala na din magkiayin. Wala na din maghilabuan na niya. Ako'y migre. Ako'y liyon. <laughs> so, the husband and wife should have a reflection of Christ's character or attitudes. You are no longer to yourself in your own ways of life. You have to surrender your own ways of life as long as you know that that certain old life is not the glory of God is not the will of God, you have to surrender it unto God. But from now on, you have to ask God His grace, that His goodness, His righteousness must be, you know, reflected to you. And it will start in your family and your life together as husband and one wife, because love is Christ Himself. So if you love your wife, Make sure that Christ Himself must be the reflection of your life. Show your love, your kindness, your goodness, meekness, long suffering, self control, kindness, faith. And that is the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And the last one, always learn to forgive each other. But you have to learn to release forgiveness. Darling, but to know. So always learn to forgive the husband and wife. Always learn to say sorry. Honey, sorry. Amen. Wow. The third one, the last one, constant commitment to fulfill your winning promise back. Later on, we will have a, you know, a marriage vows of me. And so, you have to uh, fulfill your promise, your marriage vow, constantly uh, striving to the, the, the power of God for you to be able to fulfill your promise. Dumi pa na on, challenging ka is tonight, but inalan ka, marimayin ka, marifresh ka time to time that you have to really make it a promise. So always pray, therefore you need to pray so that you can fulfill your your commitment, your promises towards your partners. Both partners that are in to protect your relationship. So protect your relationship. Amen. Both of you, you have to find your relationship. Today, growing on, to be your lawful meeting wife, to love and to respect her, honor and to cherish her in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, and in leaving all others to keep yourself only for her as you would shall be. Gloriam, do you like honor so that we are grateful for God and His witnesses to be to be your local wicked husband, to love and speak him, and to be with him in all faith and tenderness, and in health, in prosperity and adversity, and in giving all others to give yourself only to him as you would shall be. Amy and Dorian Christ call you into union with him and with each other. Union in marriage requires much generosity and selflessness, flexibility, patience, and love from both husband and wife. Under it lies responsibilities and a joy to fulfill with dignity and honesty as husband. And one. <laughs> 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 
Father in heaven, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, give me and glory on, plenty of thoughts to each other in Harris. Before God, and we pray that this union between Ibi and Dorian will be a fruitful one. And any plans of people to break this marriage, we put it down and destroy its plan right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare that the blood of Jesus is going to Years and Father, I pray that you serve the mighty prayer not only to the married couple but also to the families that they represent right now. I declare your power, your glory, your visitation to the other family as well. Father, I release. Blessings flow to this couple, to the family. 
Amen. 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 Amen.